Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that we're going to talk about right now is how the media is starting to call the BS around the polls, Trump, Harris, everything that I'm about to show you. The magic is dissipating. I'm about to introduce you to a show on the Hill. This is not a right-leaning source. But they're calling out all the polls as BS, all the propaganda as BS. You're not going to believe what I'm about to show you. And everything will be linked in the description box below. Please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn the notification bell on so we can spread freedom from one coast to the other, from one border to the other, because we got some freedom to spread. And thank you for that consideration. And guys, one of the things that we need to do is we need to get out and activate and vote. We need to make sure we have everything registered. We need to make sure we have all our ducks in a row to send freedom to Washington, D.C. And USCCA's Action Fund is putting their money where their mouth is. They are making sure everything is up tight, ready to rock, and it's linked in the description box below. Watch this quick video to show you how you can get with me to make this happen. And I will see you on the other side. We are heading into the most crucial election of our lifetimes. And millions of the people who share our values aren't even registered to vote. Think about that. My name is Braden Langley with Langley Outdoors on YouTube, and I'm partnering with the USCCA Action Fund to make sure that we do everything that we can to put the right people in the right place at the right time to pass our blessings on to the next generation. I am challenging each one of you to stand up for our God-given rights. If only half of us on this channel activate, that is 275,000 people that are active passing on our rights and taking that civic duty to do so. Imagine how powerful that could be, and all you have to do is go with vote with, go to votewithbraden.com. So here's what you need to do. Go to votewithbraden.com. This is the one-stop shop. All you have to do is go there. You can get your registration up to date or check to make sure you are registered. You can get your polling location. You can even get a ballot if you desire. It has never been simpler, and it takes less than 60 seconds. Again, votewithbraden.com. All right, beautiful people. Let's get into this, but we have got to, I, I, we got to, we got to hit it. I owe this stuff to you guys. When I see the left-wing media organizations like The Hill coming out and saying, uh, yeah, no, nah, all the propaganda around Harris is kind of crap, and you guys might want to notice a few things, I got to show you, because that is a dispelling of the mythical magic right there. Check this out. Turn the volume all the way up for you guys. The first thing we're going to go to, and again, it will be linked, is at five-minute mark, okay? This is one of the guys on The Hill. This is not a conservative, okay? above Trump in the state. Okay, here's the real problem. I want to be very clear about this. During the run-up to the 2020 election, the polls showed Biden beating Trump by four, five, or six points in the state of Pennsylvania, according to CNN. We've got it up on screen. Now, when the votes were tallied, Biden did win the state, but it was by 1.17%. In other words, that the polling error in Democrats' favor is as egregious in this cycle as it was in 2020, Trump will win the state and probably the presidency. Now, it's certainly possible the polls are more accurate this time around, sure. But that's why the presidential race is currently best described as a toss-up. There was a pause for a second. In the comments field down there, how many of you believe that it, the polling got so much better? No. The pollsters have no clue what they're doing. That's why I partnered with USCCA. That's why we're doing the register to vote. So we get out and bring all of our friends to vote as well and our family members. So we can actually affect the change that we need to see. Because this idea that the polling is all of a sudden magical fixed and we all know exactly what's going to happen is just that magic crap. Because what you're seeing right now is someone on the left issuing a warning to the entire population, particularly on the left, saying, hey, um, if the polling's off even this much, everything's, everything changes. All right, let me continue here, and then I'll get to the next point. Neither candidate is destroying the other. Maybe Drew Magary, who inf infamously predicted that Trump was going to get his ass kicked in the 2016 election, should just stick to writing about sports. But this is the level of delusion, not just of Biden-Harris surrogates on social media and in progressive circles, but of, occasionally, Joe Biden himself. And so this is, I thought... All right, so... Now pause that real quick because they have a little back and forth. It doesn't really matter. Then there's one more piece I want to show you. But understand what he's saying. It's a delusion. The left-wing uh, Harris-Biden acolytes and propagandists and chosen surrogates on Twitter are just that. They are surrogates. They are completely biased. They are throwing propaganda. They're citing polls, again, 
they are delusional if they think they know what's going to happen, which is why it's so important that you register and make sure your ducks in a row in order to vote. Again, link in the description. But you have to understand, he is openly saying, if these polls are off by 1%, Trump carries every single swing state. That's how important this is. That's why he's saying, uh, you guys might want to be careful and wake up because your behavior is classified as delusional. All right, let's go one more thing. Because again, the media is not out of this either. Check this out. They are coming after the media in this segment as well. This is um, talking, or this, this is a timestamp of seven if you were following along on this in the description box. Oh, it's close. We know that every single year. Amber, you and I complain a lot about the mainstream media, the New York Times, for anti-conservative bias, those kinds of things. But it, it's real. There's a segment of the Internet out there on social media, on Twitter, or maybe they're on Blue Sky now or wherever, I don't know, long COVID patients go or something, to, to say that the mainstream media is, is biased against in favor of Trump and against Kamala Harris and Joe Biden. Yeah. That is a fervent belief. It's incredible. All right. A fervent belief on the left that the media, the mainstream media, is overcompensating and supporting Trump. Guys, I, the, the delusion doesn't quite cover that one. These are people like Harry Sisson, JoJo from Jers, the uh, Rising or Defi Brooklyn Defiant, all these uh, Twitter handle handles that are far left. That's this qualification. They think that Trump is actually favored and supported by the mainstream media. That's CNN, MSNBC, ABC, all those groups. Yeah. But let's continue. That's what they're talking about. They got a pretty interesting point here. So they basically go back to 2016, where they claim that the media was responsible for platforming Trump too much, for giving him too much attention on... on cable news and broadcast news channels and therefore that's why he won which is the complete of course misunderstanding of why trump was able to capture his base in the way that he was it's not because he was covered on morning joe um and so then you actually saw media correct on this misconception where places like uh cnn and msnbc would no longer cover trump rallies live they would do live fact checking during some of his public appearances which they don't do for pretty much any other public official Right. She's got a point, doesn't she? They live fact track anytime Trump talks, but no other public officials they do it on. But don't worry, guys. The media is biased for Trump. Do you see the, the little Chiron right there? Or the little subtitle, the lower third? On Robbie's radar, Dim's lying about the polls. Guys, we've covered this a bunch of times, and this is the important piece to this. They are building a perception around a delusional observation. Okay, so when you're talking about Harris is up by one nationally, yeah, in context, which we're going to cover later on tonight, in context, that means she's losing by about seven points from prior Democrats. Okay, there's so many things about this election that are outside the norm that they are using propaganda on you. That's why I'm covering these things. And they've gotten even to the point where they think the media is supporting Trump. Well, let me let, me let, her, let her wrap up and then we'll wrap up ourselves. Um, and now, even still, you have these loonies on the, the internet claiming that the mainstream media is biased towards Trump. It's obviously patently ridiculous. On the poll question, if I were the Trump campaign, one trend that I would be concerned about is that Kamala has closed the gap quite significantly on the issues. So okay, so now that's the rest of this point isn't that isn't that important because I, I don't think that's actually representative of what's happening. But anyway, her her whole point is. She's closing the gap, as in Kamala Harris, on the issues. No, what's happening is the propaganda is affecting those on the left. That, that's what's happening. The propaganda and that, that shared delusion that's happening, like the media is biased for Trump and the polls are completely accurate and they've never been wrong and they fixed them, all of these things are culminating in that point that she just brought up. Now, the reason that I wanted to bring this, just to reinforce the point, they are openly saying on a left-wing network, that's it. They're saying they are delusional about the polls and that you cannot trust them. So get out and vote. And that's why I'm covering this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.